Hey everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting, and this is a Pratt & Whitney PT6A, and it's attached to this, a Cessna 208B Caravan. Now, if you know anything about the PT6A, you know that it's the workhorse of the turbine world, and it's available in about a gazillion different varieties, dash numbers they're called, with different horsepowers. The original Caravan had a PT6-114 or 114A up to 675 horsepower, but as the market matured, operators and owners wanted more performance, and Blackhawk here in Waco, Texas has responded to that with some PT6A conversions. Uh, Bob Cromer is gonna tell us about it, particularly this one, which is a, a new model for them. It has a PT6 uh, a-140 at uh, 867 horsepower and we'll fly the airplane with uh, Chris Duncan and show you how that extra horsepower improves performance. Here at Blackhawk we have two engine upgrades for the Caravan. The first is the PT6A-42 Alpha. It's 850 horsepower and replaces the original stock engines in the early Caravan 208 and 208Bs but now we've got a new upgrade it's the PT6A-140, 867 horsepower. It's an upgrade for those airplanes with the 114 and the 114A original equipment engines. It gives the airplane a whole new level of performance and a whole new level of value. For those customers who need power, this is the engine to get. The engine conversion for the customer is very straightforward. This is one of those installations where the original engine comes out and the new engine goes in. Certainly there's a lot of work involved in that, a lot of mechanical work, electrical work involved, but in two to three weeks, an average shop can exchange the engine. And of course, what you get for that uh, exchange is a brand new engine, brand new warranty, and a lot more horsepower for performance. For those customers who decide to upgrade to a new PT6A-140 in the Caravan 208, 208B, they have a price decision to make, and that is do I overhaul or do I put the new engine in? Our new engine cost is $604,000. That includes engine, prop, instruments, new starter generator, 325 amps, a lot of other equipment, a lot of other improvements. You start new, you start fresh with a brand new engine. So our price is $604,000 for the complete kit. That includes a prop. So you have a decision to make, $604,000 for all new or about $400,000, $350,000 for an overhaul. Golly, if you're going to spend this much money, spend that much more money and get a whole new level of performance and a whole new level of value with a new engine from Blackhawk. So what do you get for all that money? Mainly greatly improved climb performance. I flew with Blackhawk's Chris Duncan in the converted airplane and to start off we did a climb to altitude simulating the original engine power. That's easy enough to do because the conversion includes a new set of HAL digital instruments so we could set the torque equivalent for the original 675 horsepower. On a time climb, we got to 10,000 feet in 9 minutes and 39 seconds. We leveled off and cruise and trued at 171 knots, burning 329 pounds per hour, or about 47 gallons. We repeated this same exercise, this time using the Dash 140's full 867 horsepower. That yielded a time to climb of 6 minutes and 25 seconds, and it would have been faster, but because of the high deck angle, I was a little shy at holding the best climb speed. At 10,000 feet, the cruise speed was 180 knots on a fuel flow of 366 pounds, or about 53 gallons. For additional range, you can, of course, throttle that back to match the original aircraft's fuel flow. Blackhawk says the main market for the XP-140 conversion will be skydiving operations, and that makes sense. Jumpers will get to altitude a lot faster, and operators will get more loads per hour. For a full review of the XP-140 conversion, see the February 2017 issue of Aviation Consumer at aviationconsumer.com.